we have a cop, a slave, and Rihanna. Okay, blue collar, middle class, impoverished slave, and fashion mogul. We've got Italian, Greek, and Turk. We've got someone who used to be religious, someone who used to be indifferent, and someone who used to be oppressed. And what brings them all together is the good news of Jesus. What brings them all together so that this eclectic bunch of people who have nothing in common in their lives, they have nothing in common in their lives, form the foundation of this church. Because what supersedes all of that is the grace of Jesus Christ. And here's what happened next. And having been encouraged by Paul, the church achieved unity on Macedonian immigration policy, background checks on sword purchases, and the responsibility of wealthy business owners like Lydia to address the social disparities of income inequality for poor people like the slave girl while providing free daycare for the jailer's household. I made that up. That's not actually in the Bible. You know what? Here, here, here's, here's, here's why I bring this up. The fault lines we have in our society today of things that divide us, those are not new. They were every bit as present and even more so in the Roman Empire than they are today. But none of that mattered in comparison to the fact that we have been bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. That we are brothers and sisters because of Jesus. That's what unifies us. That's our foundation. That's our glue. That love, that passion, that purpose, that focus in our lives, not what we think about the economy, not what we think about immigration, not what we think about culture. It is Jesus. That's what brings us together.